Joining us on the line is Morton Klein. He's national president of the Zionist Organization of America, a one of the only actual Zionist organizations in America at this point, considering how many Jewish organizations claim to be Zionists and then promptly endorse the rantings of Peter Beinart and J Street. Morton, thanks so much for joining the program. Great to be with you. Thank God for your promoting the truth of everything about America and Israel. Thank you. Well, Morton, I really appreciate it. Let, let's talk a little bit about what's going on inside the Conference of Presidents. This is a major Jewish organization that basically uh, unify, it's supposed to unify all of the various heads of the various Jewish organizations. They've been attempting to throw you out because Zionist Organization of America takes the viewpoint that Israel mm -hmm. should have sovereignty over a certain area in Judea and Samaria, which has always been the, the claim of Zionists. Uh, well, it's actually just J Street and New Israel Fund and Trua and the reform movement's Rick Jacobs, who have publicly stated I should be thrown out. The conference is actually not trying to throw me out of the umbrella group, which is 50 Jewish organizations. Uh, but those people have said I should be thrown out because of my telling the truth of Black Lives Matter platform. Sixteen other Jewish groups have condemned me as racist because I simply wrote an article condemning the Black Lives Matter organization's platform, which says Israel is an apartheid genocide state. A genocide is quite remarkable. There were 200,000 Arabs in 1948 in Israel. Today there's almost 2 million. Whoever's in charge of the genocide program has to be fired immediately. It's not working. <laughs> uh, they support BDS, as I've written. They call Zionism white supremacy. <laughs> and, and, maybe, and just as bad, they want uh, America to end all their police, all their military, and capitalism, and and the nuclear family, kids should choose their own gender, uh, and so on. Because I wrote this, these 16 Jewish organizations, the reform movement, the conservative movement, the women's groups, have uh, condemned me and said I am tainting them uh, by being racist. It is not racist to uh, tell the truth about the platform of an anti-Semitic organization. Uh, this just shows the enormous fear in the Jewish community <clears throat> of Black Lives Matter. Uh, <clears throat> they're worried that, the, that these groups will uh, do further damage, physical damage, to Jewish synagogues, uh, Jewish schools, and continue to uh, riot. And in their riots, by the way, they scream death to Israel and death to America. That's here in the United States. That's not Iran. That's here in the United States. Uh, so uh, it, it really was shocking to see that the Jews today are as frightened about speaking up about the truth of the issues as the Jews were in the 30s and 40s when the Nazis were massacring Jews. You know, Morton, when, when we talk about the BLM organization, obviously one, one of the things the media have tried to do is pretend mm -hmm. that people who are protesting and saying that Black Lives Matter are the, are the exact same as the, the Black Lives Matter organizers. The Black Lives Matter organizers are very clear about all this stuff. This stuff is on their website. They've been very obvious about what it is they're promoting. They are neo-Marxists and they don't hide it. The fact that you just pointed out exactly what they say on their own website and then were labeled a racist for doing so, it is demonstrative of the fact that for, for so many reform Jewish organizations, for, for so many left-wing anti-Israel Jewish organizations like J Street, that for so many of those organizations, mm -hmm. the real cause is leftism. It has nothing to do with being pro-Israel or pro-Jewish. Well, I'm afraid <clears throat> that's right. Uh, that's why these groups regularly condemn Israel uh, and say Jews uh, should not be living in Judea and Samaria, uh, that uh, they should be uh, immediately setting up a Palestinian state, which of course will be a terrorist state. Uh, the Palestinian Arabs right now pay Arabs to murder Jews. This is shocking. Most people don't know this. And the more Jews and Arab murders, the higher their lifetime pension the Palestinian Authority gives them. And despite that, virtually every Jewish group in America supports establishing a Palestinian state, which will simply be an Iran-Hamas uh, state. They are not promoting what's best for Jews. It is leftist, leftism and fear, fear of the non-Jew and, uh, uh, and fear of the enemies of Israel, thinking by appeasing them, uh, this uh, will get them to be better. But Winston Churchill very brilliantly said, uh, those who appease the crocodile will only be eaten last. Appeasement fails every time. So, Morton, we're talking with Martin Klein of the Zionist Organization of America. You know, when, when we look at you know the, the broad spectrum of American politics right now, it seems like the Democratic Party is moving in an extraordinarily anti-Israel direction. They have been since the Obama years, so the, this really is not a reaction to Trump. It, it preceded Trump, actually. Do you think there's any hope for a revivification of pro-Israel identity inside the Democratic Party? I mean, they're busily ousting the only pro-Israel members of their party in vulnerable areas. They just got rid of Elliot Engel. They've been going after other pro-Israel members of Congress. Do you think the future of the Democratic Party has a pro-Israel contingent? Well, let me tell you, even the great friends of Israel among the Democrats, and I know them well, I've been doing this 27 years, I don't want to mention names, but the great friends who were tremendous, 
have now moved to the left wing when it comes to Israel. They now support a Palestinian terror state. They now uh, say we have to fund the Palestinian Arabs. They now say Israel should not apply sovereignty, Israeli law, uh, in, in the area of Judea and Samaria where half a million Jews live. They now say we have to reinstitute the Iran deal. These are people who voted against the vicious idiotic, frightening, dangerous Iran deal, now they're saying we're reinstituted. So no, I'm afraid it's going in the wrong direction and it's continuing to go further and further in an anti-Israel direction. Uh, it worries me very greatly. One of the things that's been fascinating to watch in public opinion polling is, is the divide between the Israeli public and the American Jewish public. Uh, it used to be that the, the pro-Israel sentiments were very similar. Now it seems that because so many American Jews have adopted leftism as their top priority and Israeli Jews just want to defend themselves and you know actually live and exist, that a, a gap has emerged. Morton, thanks for trying to bridge that gap. Morton Klein of the Zionist Organization of America, properly labeling anti-Semitism wherever he sees it, including in the Black Lives Matter organization. Morton, really appreciate your time. Thank you. And ZOA.org, you'll learn more about the things you and I just talked about. Thank yeah. you so much. Go check it out right now.